I've got a special one for you today because in this video, you're going to be learning how you can automate your entire social media content from this one simple automation. And I'm even gonna be building it from complete scratch so you can watch me build it live, step by step, and you can easily implement this straight away after watching this video. And it's gonna be able to post onto Instagram, LinkedIn, X, Facebook, any social media you can think of, it's actually gonna create ideas and then post the content for us completely automated at whatever time we want um, every single day. So this completely removes us from the process and you don't have to get drained trying to think of content ideas and then posting it every single day. So without further ado, let's dive straight into this. So head over to make.com. If you do not have a make account already, just go and create one for free and then you can start the automation. So click on create a new scenario at the top right. Really simple. This is just allowing us to create a new scenario. And what we need first and foremost is a trigger. A trigger is how we start the workflow. So what we're going to be using in this case is we are going to be finding any long form video that you want, right? So this could be a podcast. It could be one of your videos on YouTube. It could be anything. And we are simply going to copy the URL of the video and then we're going to head over to a website called tactic.io and it's going to be able to turn that YouTube video into a transcript very simply right so as you can see it has turned this video into a transcript which we can then turn into LinkedIn posts Twitter posts Facebook even Instagram photos which is crazy using this automation so what you're going to do is you are simply going to paste this into a Google Sheets just like this. So this is all you need, right? Just a YouTube video and the transcript into a Google Sheets. That's it. From that point on, everything is automated, which is crazy. So what we need to do is just, yeah, create a Google Sheet, copy it in there, and then we're going to add a trigger. And the first trigger we're going to add is simply Google Sheets. So we're going to click on Google Sheets and we're going to click on then watch new rows here. So once you click on watch new rows, just make sure that your Google Drive is connected to make. So how you do that is by yeah, once again, just adding it here. You don't need an API, you don't need any of that fancy stuff, just connect it. Um, search method is search by path, and then drive is obviously your drive. Um, and then all you need to do is quickly click on spreadsheet ID and click on this part here, choose a file. And once you click on this, it's gonna give you all the different Google Sheets that are in your um, Google Drive. So if we want this one, we are simply gonna search for scripts for content so if we quickly click on this and go to s you can see that we should have it somewhere here scripts for content and boom we've now clicked on it um, for the sheet name we're just going to click on sheet one it'll be the same for you and then we can simply put the limit to one now the reason we put the limit here to one is because we don't want it creating multiple posts from the same transcript um, because yeah that's just what we want um, so yeah, let's just put that to one and then click on OK. So for the ID, you can just um, click on all, doesn't really matter, click OK, and now add another module. So now what this has done is whenever we put a new row into here, it's gonna be able to post automatically every single day for us. So you can add more transcripts here and whenever you do that, that is what it's gonna do. So each day, maybe in the morning, you can quickly just find a YouTube video of yours, um, or you can actually use the same one to create different posts from basically. So it's very easy, um, but hopefully that makes sense. Whenever we use a new row, um, and this is a column, by the way, just for those that aren't clear, this is a column and that's a row. <laughs> so row is horizontally and um, a column is vertically, just to put that out there. Um, so you can simply add a new transcript in here and it's gonna be able to create a post from that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to a new module and we're gonna search for perplexity. So perplexity is essentially a competitor to OpenAI, right? And it's gonna be able to format all this scrappy information that's here, which is a transcript into a clean summary. And then we can tell ChatGPT to turn that summary into unique posts for every single platform and then post those automatically. So if we go back here, we essentially wanna search on create a chat complete uh, completion. So click on that. And what you need to do is you need to add the API key. So you can do this for free, I believe. If you go to perplexity, um, and let's just search for it, and then go down here, and then just click on it. I'm doing this from scratch. I wanna keep it as raw as possible so you can follow along. And if you go down here, once you've created an account, if you click on this button here, you can go to API, 
I believe you need to add maybe two dollars, three dollars just to get the API key. So an API key is how we connect one software to another software. So if we wanted to create, oh, sorry, connect ChatGPT to make.com, we would get the API key from OpenAI and then connect it to make. Very simply, that, that's how you connect um, softwares to each other through the API. So let's just grab the API key, which we are here. Obviously you would click generate once you've added maybe a dollar or two dollars, three dollars into the credits. So it just uses it. Um, and once again, this won't burn it quick. Um, it can, you can use these few dollars for absolutely ages. Um, so let's just paste the API key in there, click on save. Um, and then we're almost done for this part. We can just click on this add item here and we can search for content. So let's just put in this content, right? We're going to search for this. This is just a prompt. So let's say, um, summarize. So summarize the transcript um, into, and you can say maybe into 200 words or wh whatever you want to be honest. And then we are simply going to select script one. And then that is taking script one, which is this part. And it's going to summarize this into 500 words and, and a clean format. So it doesn't have all the timestamps. Um, and you can obviously be more specific with this prompt, um, but that's just what we're going for. And then for the role, always select user. And then for tokens, we can just leave that as blank. So click on okay. And now what we can do is we can actually um, test this out to see if it's working. So if we click on this, you can see that it's going round. It's checking this one. And if you give it a second to load, you can see that we've actually got a magnifying glass here, which you can actually see what it's done from this Google sheet, right? So let's see if it's been able to format this into 200 words and make it look a bit cleaner. So if we go in here, and we go on so obviously you can see that the input we told it to um if we go down here summarize the transcript into 200 words and this is what it's going to be summarizing so now if we go to um let's go here let's go all the way down it's annoying how to do that and we go to output output is obviously what has happened so if we go down here to usage or choices sorry it's choices plus one message content and you can see that it has successfully turned this scrappy transcript into a nice, you know, four step um, summary where we've got did, uh, yeah, persuasion. So this is what I talked about in this YouTube video here, which is amazing. I also talked about the Rhino move, which is essentially taking action without hesitation. A lot of beginners don't take action and they just stay in the state of analysis paralysis. So I talked about that to make um, more money. Um, no code automation. That's also what I talked about. And then patience, right? So perfect. It's actually done what we've told it to. So now you can simply click off that. And now we can add the next step, which is going to be a router. So if we click on here, you can see that we can just search for router here. And then this allows us to create multiple different um, pathways basically. So if we zoom out a bit, I think that's perfect. We now want to basically search for um, open AI. So you can see that it's here and we can just click on it and we're going to click on create a completion, right? So create a completion and we are going to once again, add our API key. So you can go into Google and search for open AI and just get the API key. So if you go down here, you can see that it should be this one. Obviously you need to create an account, but once you're here, you can go to, I believe API keys, and then you can create a new secret key. You can call it whatever you want, and then just click on create a new secret key and it should be able to connect it. So let's just, you know, do that. So let's call it make, um, let's call it make automation and let's just create a secret key. So you can see that we can, I think I accidentally clipped on something else, but um, we can copy that, head back into make, put the API key here, and then just click save, um, give it a second to load. And then we want to select a model. So it should be able to choose the 4.0. Obviously you can do free, you can do whatever you want, doesn't really matter. And yeah, just like that, we now want to do the final thing. And let's just put this to a thousand tokens, um, just as an example, and we want to click on add message. So once again, we're going to do user, just like what we did for perplexity, which summarized the transcript. We now 
I want to put the message content as um, our prompt. So let me quickly get a prompt and I'll put it in here in two seconds. Okay, perfect. So I've just given it a prompt and I, what I've said is you are a social media manager and your job is to create a compelling short quote that is less than 80 words from the summary that Perplexity did. And please don't use emojis or language that isn't in the um, summary. So let's just put summary here because that's wrong. And make sure it's valuable and concise. And then all we need to do is simply click on what we want it to summarize. So if we go down here, we can click on choices, message, and then you can see um, we've got the content here. So let's just click on that. And then just like that, you're pretty much done. Perfect. So let's do this. Um, let's actually replicate this. So we want to click on clone. We want to put that there. Um, and we can actually, once again, we can clone it again. We can even clone it once more. Same thing here. And you can add another one if possible, but let's just delete this one. So what this is doing, just to explain, is we want to post um, to multiple different platforms, right? LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, whatever you want. So we're just creating different branches. So then all we need to do now for the, for the literal final step, so hopefully you've been able to follow along and I haven't confused you, but all we need to do now is actually put the social media that we want it to post to. So you can use X. So let's just click on X and click on create a post. And obviously you need to connect your thing, but if you connect it, then you can just simply put the, um, the post that we want. So click on okay. Um, obviously I'm not going to connect it cause I don't think I have connected X before. Um, but let's just use Instagram as another one or let's use LinkedIn this time. And then we're going to create a user text post and for the content, we're going to say, um, yeah, post. And then we can go to chat GBT, go to usage or sorry, go to choices, go to message, go to content. And then that is what we want to post. Um, so post this and then you can obviously have the feed distribution where you want to post it to um, all that stuff and you can play around with this um, and what we're going to do actually first is we are going to because let's say we want to post a photo to instagram what we can actually do is we can um, click on chat gpt so open ai this one and then instead of doing create a chat completion what we can do is we can actually generate an image using dali so if we click on that um, and obviously make sure you've added your API key inside that. So yeah, that's pretty easy to do. And then for model, click on the free and then the prompt, you could say very easily create a realistic image from the, from the content, right? And then if we actually give it a, a prompt, so you can see that we want, um, choices message and then content and then click on okay and if we then go to instagram instagram for business create a photo post we can then we need the photo url so how we get that is we actually go to data url and that is how we get the url for the um, actual dali photo so this has created a, um, a photo that we can then post to Instagram. And then for the caption, you can caption it whatever you want. So let's just say like for more content, or you can actually have the, um, what's it called? The, yeah, choices and the actual content here. So you could have this as the, so you could say something like read below. I do this quite commonly where on my Instagram, we want them to read the, um, the actual caption as well. So if we just put that and then just like that, all we need to do now is click on this schedule setting. So this allows us to choose when we want to run this automation. So whenever a new row is created in the sheet, it's going to run the automation. So we can do, um, let's do every day and let's just say 4 PM, right? To make it very simple. So at 4 PM every single day, what it's going to do is it's going to look at the new rows here. So you can do this in the morning. You could simply just add a new YouTube transcript in here. So let's just say we use this one as an example. Let's just do control A. You could very easily just paste a new YouTube transcript in here. And then every single day, it's going to be able to post um, yeah, onto Instagram as a photo, onto LinkedIn as a uh, text post, and then onto X. And you can obviously do Facebook as well. Um, and then just to make sure you have scheduling turned on. 
and then just like that you've built the automation so hopefully that wasn't too complicated and you found it valuable because now you can actually have a content system running for you 24 7 and it's going to schedule that content if you are interested in just getting this automation completely done for you so all you need to do is actually import it um, then make sure to join my school community because you actually get a bunch of other automations for make and you get about 15 automations inside free go high level right so go high level is a crm where you can actually send emails you can call people you can send text messages and i've built ai appointment setters ai callers all that good stuff stuff inside a free go high level which you actually get by joining my school community right and in addition to that so you actually get systems and done for you automations to help you scale your business you also get an amazing community um, of people constantly winning if we go into the um the win section you can see how crazy this is right even today right you've got tengu who made 900 dollars and he um yeah he said this money will change the trajectory of my life he's actually in the midst of closing a 7.5k deal as well so yeah you can join some amazing people um constantly winning look i could go on about how amazing these automations are but you can just read um what's on screen i absolutely love every single person in there um yeah you get content um inside a classroom going over everything you could possibly imagine creating an offer getting leads appointment setting the sales onboarding um, as well as an amazing classroom of coaching calls every single week but the main benefit is the free go high level with all the automations so that will be the first thing in the description and you can come say hi to me and i'll personally help you scale um so yeah and you also get this automation which is awesome so yeah if you want to join that perfect love love to see you in there if you don't just subscribe because i'm actually going to be posting a lot of videos on this channel coming up so yeah i got some really exciting things that I, I want to share with you so make sure you don't miss it stay tuned and i'll catch you in the next video have an amazing day take it easy